What's up everyone, Don Elmy here. So I hope everybody enjoyed the Oscars. I certainly did, because The Shape of Water, one of my favorite films of the year, won Best Picture and uh, Best Director. Well, now that I've indulged myself with uh, some of the best films of the year, I um, am going to be looking into some really, really bad filmmaking. Because I'm responding to a request that was made by Gametown XD, and it says, Please react to Fateful Findings, Best Scenes, I Beg of You. So I said, sure thing, I'll put it on my schedule. And today is the day. So when I saw Faithful Findings in uh, that comment, I was like, you know, that title is familiar somehow. But yeah, the reason why that movie was, familiar, was somehow familiar is because a few of those scenes were uh, featured in my my reaction to the uh, best of bad acting. And I know that the clips that I saw from Fateful Findings, I know that it was put, it was put in uh, the best of bad acting for uh, comedic purposes, you know, and I, I gotta admit, some of those scenes were pretty funny, but... Uh, I don't know, as far as uh, seeing uh, more of this film, uh, this is going to be either really funny or really painful to watch. But, uh, try it out. I'm going to check it out anyway. So, now I got the video loaded up, and... Uh, the things I do for my viewers. <laughs> Here we go. The Fateful Findings, Best Scenes, go. You're gonna spill that on your laptop, dude. Okay. Uh. Oh, come on. Okay, so. I'm sorry. I, I let you down. Oh man, such compelling performances. Ah, oh, man. You didn't let me down. Did she just take pills while well, is that water? Let's try and start over. Or something else. We both got problems. You're acting, for example. I think I think I think I'm beyond that now. <laughs> Oh my god, this acting is terrible. I need some fresh air. Yeah, he's just. Get some fresh air. He's just using. He's just using that as an excuse to get away from the set. Well, well. You're looking very special today. Get away from me, Jim. You're drunk. And stay there. Now you're gonna show their faces. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, we're really private people. Yeah, we want to be in this film, but we're uh, we tend to be very uh, private about uh, up here on camera. So if you could just, uh, yeah, you know, not film our faces, then that would be excellent. What? Another hard day at the office? Damn it! Yes, as a matter of fact, I'm trying to relax. Leave me alone. Have you seen Allie? Let me tell you about Allie. Allie's been sneaking over to Dylan and Emily's house and jumping in their swimming pool. So? It's your turn to watch her. What is Allie, a little kid or something? Stay away from me. Okay. I've seen better acting than this in a grade school performance. Like a little play at a, that I have at a, a grade school. Yeah, their acting is better than this. Um, you probably have terrible aim because you shot him instead of the car. You killed him. Dad, no, <laughs> Allie, don't go in there. What kind of reaction is this? Okay, seriously, the whole dad, dad. That sounds like a more like annoyed whining than anything else. I mean, and and not to mention that her her, ex, her emotions completely change in like a, in like. I mean, in like a second, she was like, you killed him. Dad. <laughs> like, seriously, that is not the reaction someone would have when they just want to see their loved one's dead body. Ser uh, for real, this is... Okay. Dad, you didn't see I'm sorry. Dad, 
Oh my god. Oh, you're just gonna play. Um, you know your fingerprints are on it, right? I mean, come on, it, it wouldn't be that simple to get away with a crime like that. He killed himself! He killed himself! Oh my god. Oh, this is. Oh, is this that scene where he holds. Yeah. At least we know how now we know how he died. Jim! Call 911! Yeah, because this scene was featured in Best of Bad Acting. Jim! Jim! Oh, here we go. How could you have done this? Jim! I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. <laughs> How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? His, the, the way is he was facing changed in between shots. I can't help you out of this one, Jim. Oh, uh, yeah, you oh, cannot because he's dead. Me? No kidding. I can't pull you out of this one. This... Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> oh, my God. This... Usually scenes like this are the scenes that get us all uh, emotional. How are we supposed to get emotional if he's not showing any at all? Like, seriously, he's putting absolutely nothing into his performance. God, this is... like It's the bad acting that makes this funny. Seriously. How could Jim have killed himself? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's just not like him. <laughs> How could he have committed suicide? Emily, you know I'm here for you. I support you. I'll do anything for you. Anything to help you. Jim's suicide was not your fault. You can't blame yourself. No emotion at all. It was not your fault. A psychiatrist? I lost my first real love when I was nine. She was beautiful. She was my love. She what kind of psychiatrist office is this? In your heart. <laughs> I don't know that many psychiatrist offices that have chairs like this. God, what am I watching? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's got yep, it's gonna fall over. Well, she's just easily amused by anything, isn't she? All this time, I haven't been working on my next book. I've hacked into the most secret government and corporate secrets. The most secret government and corporate secrets. The most secret the secret. Most secret. And discovered corporate and government cheating, lying, corruption, and hypocrisy on a massive level, worldwide, much more than has ever been seen before. You can just tell from his face he's so These serious about this. These documents are going to change the world. <laughs> what, what is he doing? Meditating? Oh. I can't wait any longer. Yeah, because that's funny, because I remember him knocking over laptops in the uh, Best of Bad Acting video, I'm but... I'm not ready for this! First, you're not going to get anywhere, because you keep trashing your laptops, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, this is like a child, child tantrum if I've ever seen one. This is not even real drama. Oh yeah, that you don't look sh too shady at all. The hell's he doing? Um, what? <laughs> How is this a fight scene? Seriously. You didn't realize you could have easily just backed away from a right when he was coming up to you. I mean, you saw him, you could have just run. I want to be honest with all of you. Nice green screen. Hacking into government and corporate systems all over the country. Why are they applauding this? All over the world. I have discovered more information than any hacker ever has. Ever. 
What I have found will shock you. Yay, this guy has hacked almost everything. For all I know, he's probably hacked our bank accounts. <sighs> Seriously, why would they be happy about this? I'm releasing these files to the public today. <laughs> Money, payoffs, and greed were always the priority of my company. Like many companies. I'm afraid of going to prison. God, this editing is now horrible. Know my crimes. <sighs> I am okay. designing to Okay, so they'll applaud to uh, a new guy revealing that he's been hacking uh, so much information that anybody else has ever done, but no one's going to react to a guy committing to just shooting himself right in front of everyone, not a gasp or anything. <laughs> Just and wow. Senator. That's all I have to say. I resign today as president of the bank. For their lying, their greed, their injustices. We were all under pressure to operate in a deceiving way and cheat the customer. Goodbye. Yep. Bye. See, oh. And again, nobody's gonna gasp at that. Today, I am submitting my resignation as Congresswoman. I and others. Yeah, like it's good. Like it's gonna be this simple in real life. Cheating of our customers. Fraud. Oh, so once the once every crook is is exposed, they all just kill themselves. For the purpose of greed and fraud. No, like this guy has no acting skill whatsoever. Oh, now they bring out the assassin to silence the uh, whistleblower. God, they even managed to make this look bad. Seriously, you would expect at least to have like a, um, you know, like a different filter, you know, to have for a, for a scope. But here they just got the generic uh, looking uh, crosshair. Like, come on. You will be shocked. And amazed at what I have here. Oh, somebody shot him. It will scare you. Really? Nobody's gonna react to but that either? Be oh, look at that. He notices the dead body and it's just like, it will scare okay, you. moving on then. <laughs> but you should be scared. Act now. On your own. Outside of the what corporate am I systems watching? and incompetent politicians. <laughs> Act now. Oh, come on. I've seen... It's our only hope for the future. Seriously, have these cameras right here look like they have nobody attending them. I doubt those cameras are even running because the speech is so horrible that they, re they realize that it's not even worth filming. Oh, oh it's over. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Faithful Findings. Looks like a really bad movie, but... Uh, it's just the bad acting that makes it really funny. You know, it's just one of those movies that's so bad. I don't, I don't want to say so bad it's good, but I want to say kind of so bad it's funny. It just makes you like, wow, how people don't even react to certain um, situations the way a normal person would. So yeah, just like The Room, this movie is uh, pretty popular just because of how bad it is. I mean, it's the it's got terrible acting and horrible camera work. I'm thinking back to the beginning where uh, it doesn't even show the faces of those people at the barbecue. <laughs> I know, and there's just so many moments that it makes the, the movie look pretty awkward and just like really like out of. There's so many things about this film that just look so out of place. I mean, I can get why some people like uh, like you know like to laugh at these with this bad stuff. You know, some of it's funny. Um, I do. I did enjoy uh, being nitpicky about it because if there's anything I learned from Mystery Science Theater 3000, the uh, only way to have fun with a bad movie is to make fun of a bad movie. <laughs> So hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to Fateful Findings Best Scenes. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any suggestions of what I should check out next, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.